If you're a creator, we know it can be frustrating when your video gets an unexpected copyright claim or yellow monetization icon, especially after your video goes live. So to help, we're adding a check step to the upload flow that screens your videos for potential copyright and ad suitability issues before your video launches. With this step, you can become aware of potential restrictions and have the chance to address those issues before publishing your video. So how does it work? When you upload a video on desktop, you'll see the checks step in the upload flow before choosing your video's visibility. At this step, once your video is done processing, we'll automatically check your video for issues related to copyright, and if you're monetizing, add suitability. The copyright check searches for copyrighted content in your video that would result in a content ID claim, and the add suitability check will look into if your video follows our ad-friendly content guidelines. You'll see a time estimate of how long each check will take to complete. Generally, the copyright check should only take a few minutes, while the ad suitability check may take a bit longer. If you don't want to wait, you can close out and come back later. In the meantime, your video will be saved as a draft, and checks will continue to run in the background until they're finished. Once the checks are done, if there are no issues found with your video, you'll see a green check mark next to each section. From there, you should be all set to publish your video. But what happens and what can you do if issues are found with your video? First, copyright issues. If there's a content ID claim found with your video, you can address it by clicking See Details. This will lead you to the copyright summary and status for your video. From here, you'll see if the claim has any impact on your channel, along with your video's visibility and monetization status. You'll also see the content being claimed, including the time code it appears at and the impact the claim has on your video. From here, you can also take relevant actions to resolve the content ID claim that was found during the check step. One option is to edit out the claimed content. You can trim out the claimed part of your video, which will automatically release the claim. Or, if a song was claimed in your video, you can also choose to replace or mute the song. Your other option is to dispute the claim if you believe the claim was made incorrectly. Disputes can take a few days to resolve, so you can choose to either wait to make your video live until the dispute is settled, or to publish it while you wait. Note that if you publish your video during a dispute and you and the claimant are both trying to monetize it, any revenue earned on your video will be held. We'll then pay out the party that wins the dispute once the dispute is resolved. Also keep in mind that this check step only looks for content ID matches. It does not anticipate or prevent copyright strikes. Copyright strikes only happen when a copyright owner asks us to take down a video. Now let's go through what you can do if ad suitability issues are found. First and foremost, you'll need to complete the ad suitability self-certification questionnaire in the upload flow before ad suitability checks can even run. If the questionnaire is complete and there's still an ad suitability issue found with your video, you can request a review. When you request a human review, the video gets looked at by an expert who spends time watching and reviewing your video and its metadata against YouTube's advertiser-friendly content guidelines. When the review is complete, you'll get an email update, and the status in the check step of the upload flow will update as well. Once the copyright or ad suitability issues flagged by the checks are resolved, you'll see two green check marks under the check step. Or if you return to your video list, you'll see if checks are still running or if they're complete. Note that you can publish your videos while the checks are still running or if there are issues found that you don't want to address. We'll show you a warning before you decide to publish your video, and you can choose to publish anyway. But keep in mind that if an issue is found, it might impact your video's visibility or monetization potential. And remember, these check results aren't final. Issues may still come up in the future that impact your video. Also note that if you ever change your video's metadata after it's published, and that metadata is no longer suitable for ads, you might see new monetization restrictions in your video list. We hope this helps you proactively address restrictions that impact your video's audience or its ability to earn money. For more information on the check step in the upload flow, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.